Well, there you go. Uh, the phone alarm went off in the middle of that, so that serves me right, doesn't it, for not turning it off. But because it was such a beautiful reading, I'm just going to put two parts up today. And I won't do a bonus. So, and what I'll do is I'll lab elaborate on this one for you. How's that sound? Okay, so we have here two people who've been on a journey. So very twin flame energy for this reading this morning. Um, this is an energy of one person who possibly did the running, um, who denied perhaps the love, denied the relationship and has gone away to do some healing and some very, very deep healing here. They may have been in another situation. Um, they could have been felt bonded to another situation, bonded to another person. So you probably are dealing with someone who's been in some sort of karmic relationship. And it feels to me like they've done an awakening. They've realized where their abundance is. They found their self-love. They could have been holding back because of financial reasons too. So they could have had a lot of financial ties to this person. Um, but they've dealt with their dark side and they're ready for this brand new start here. We have that person probably hasn't been doing any communicating. Possibly a little bit, but very limited communication. But they want a rebirth. For others of you here, you're dealing with someone that perhaps you don't know yet who's going to give you an opportunity of love. They have walked away from something that's kept them tied to their past and haven't realised their own value. So they're coming in and you will be meeting this person. But I do think both of you have been doing this energy, this very reflective mirroring energy. So whether this is someone new for you or someone coming back from your past, both of you have been working towards the same goal here and that is this Ace of Wands. So both of you want a brand new start, um, but this energy is moving very slowly, so there's still work to be done. It hasn't quite completed. And I do have the Seven of Pentacles coming up at the end. So there needs to be patience. Um, there definitely is a very slow moving energy here. So let's just go right back to the beginning. So we have someone who's learned through their intuition, someone who's let go of some sort of bondage or something that's kept them back, but they're finally listening to their intuition. This can be about self-love for some people without any doubt, um, but for others, they're walking towards love or moving towards love, and it could be with a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo here. Um, they're definitely looking to walk down a different person. Look, they you're their world. So they are moving towards you perhaps after a period of trying to work out how to bring in this um, this relationship, this love. Um, okay, seven of wands, wow. Okay, five of wands. Some of you dealing with a water sign. Um, this is walking towards your destiny here after letting go of burdens. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign as well, but I believe that this is someone ready to speak their peace now, someone who's ready to tell the truth. Um, the seven of wands, five of wands is an energy where someone is just not giving up. This is the real deal. They're not going to give up on you at all. So they really mean business here. Um, there is an offer here. Some of you can be dealing with Pisces people, but from a water sign, someone probably has strong Pisces in their chart if they're not a water sign. The star in the Ten of Wands says someone's realised, look, realised a destiny after like going through some sort of hard battle here. Someone's had to fight to get to this, um, fight to get to this position, um, had to put down a lot of things, had to make lots of sacrifices but they definitely are on their way back and ready to offer something substantial. That Ace of Cups says to me they really are on their way um, and definitely want to bring balance to this situation. They see you here as their person, so definitely wanting to bring balance in for you. Um, so there's your reading, part two, and I'll see you back tomorrow morning. Thanks, guys.